Good morning. Hello. Hello from London. It's extremely hot London. Uh, we got like yesterday, it reached like 38 degrees. Today is gonna be another very, very hot day. And it's already 5 a.m. more or less. And it's already 24 degrees. So it's gonna be very hot. Reminds me about the time in Australia. So I'm very busy those days. And then normally I like, like telling stories and uh, recording uh, like the surroundings, but I don't have much time. And uh, I just gonna go through the, the classic uh, uh, videos of, uh, of me talking. So this story will be set in London when, when I was in Fulham and uh, it's just a few months before I left and moved to Scotland uh, before going actually to Bangkok and, and then Scotland. So it's, um, so one of the things that always been uh, uh, let's call it trademark if it's uh, if you make if I can say but it's kind of like for me is the sign that uh, um, when I am on uh, on the right track so it's like spiritually so I would normally sing uh, 11 11 or 1 1 1 so that's uh, I seeing uh, as a sign uh, from the universe of God or whatever you want to call it um, confirming that I'm uh, on uh, on the right path so this so this is this happened while I was working um, this cafe in uh, in Fulham Police Station uh, so yeah just I was working and uh, a man came toward me and uh, it just uh, he, he said nothing he just kind of like not like not jump but he just kind of like sprinkle if it's the right word like like this toward me freaking me out because I was like whoa, whoa whoa what the hell what do you want you know like he's like a man you scare me and I remember like he say nothing and uh, and I was like Man, are you okay? And he just uh, asked me for uh, for a piece of paper and uh, and the pen. That was weird. He would not like. He wasn't. You know. He say nothing. Only like, oh, I want a piece of paper and the pen. So I took it and gave it to him. Um, you know, uh, I felt like there was something. You know not right so I didn't want to create dramas argument or whatever so I just look okay, I do whatever whatever you want so I gave him the paper I gave the pen and then uh, he gave back to me and said to write so he said 11 so okay so I wrote 11 then uh, he said again 11 so I wrote 11 and then he said bus and he wrote bus then uh, he asked me for the paper and he left so already I would say already the context it's already pretty uh, I would say uh, unique and uh, and be old but Obviously, like for me, that uh, 11, 11 was a strong message. Because obviously, if he could have said any other number, but he said, he wrote, he asked me to wrote the only numbers that has, has a real strong value for me. So, obviously, I, what I noticed in life, as I said, when uh, I am in, on higher frequency, things happening to validate 
my state and uh, to tell me that uh, I am on the on the right track. So obviously for me that was a very strong message, especially because I was about to leave London to go to Bangkok for two months, where I was supposed like I was going to do some market research because I, I wanted um, to open a cafe in Bangkok and then uh, move to Edinburgh. So obviously for me, as again, it was a sign that that they were they were telling me something. So the spiritual world was telling me something. And um, I just needed to understand more clearly what, if there was some like other message behind. So I have a very good friend that uh, she's a psychic and uh, that I normally contact when I, I needed some explanation about what's going on, you know, in my spiritual journey and so i cut uh, i sent her a message to say hey, look uh this happened this guy came blah 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 and uh, what do you think i mean what i mean i have my own explanation for that but what do you think and they what she told me uh it made sense to me so she said that so when uh, that so when the bus symbol associated so together with the numbers 11 11 it's a sign it's a good sign so you are on the spiritual right spiritual path and that um, you literally you are going from one point to another so in, in your spiritual journey you know if you're going to another node it's symbolized by transport i mean a transport that can be a train a bus a car so in my case it was the bus so what is interesting is that in the two months in bangkok my i was like not literally it's my only mean of transport in bangkok was bus i literally moved all around bangkok in, like on bus and uh, I was well that was my choice my decision I mean I was in Bangkok for two months and uh, yes I could have taken the the trains uh, the, but I wanted to live in Bangkok how someone from Bangkok would live because the train really few can afford it like it's very expensive it's not affordable it's not affordable for everyone the, the real affordable transport is the bus obviously the problem with the bus in bangkok is that the traffic is so bad that you like literally get stuck plus it's very hot so you are inside the bus very loud because it, they use basically the left over from the fucking western so all the shit buses that we throw it away, we throw away, is being taken by countries like Thailand, Vietnam. So they are very loud because the engine, you know, it was like a old technology. And then obviously very hot because there are so many people. And then you like stuck sometimes for hours uh, because the traffic. But I wanted to, I wanted to, um, living the twin and so it wasn't like I, I didn't know I didn't realize that with like the, con the, the kind of connection that I could have with that uh, man asking me to write 11 11 bus I realized that later so that I think it might be a connection so the bus was the symbol so my probably my real uh, the place for my I would say spiritual uh, evolution was Edinburgh in Scotland and the bus would take me from London.
to it. And that's what they always symbolize, you know, from being Bangkok, this little bus, and then Edinburgh. And Edinburgh played a, a really big, important in my spiritual journey. So when, only when I, was, I got there, I started to understand the strong reasons behind moving to Edinburgh, that it wasn't, you know, like, because that's, there happened th certain things that sort of like pushed me to, to go to Scotland, that it was a magical time. Uh, because there was no a rational reason for me to move. So, and that's the other thing. I was kind of worried about that. Um, because I, you know, I was basically jumping in there, no. And uh, at that I felt was like a sort of reassurance for me because so normally, if I'm in a higher frequency, I would get those um, kind of symbol. And uh, the, actually that time, I, I wasn't. That time I was kind of like up and down, but definitely I would say I was in a higher frequency. So to, like, to receive that kind of message wasn't, like it, it was unusual. So that's why I was surprised when, um, you know, I've been delivered with that message. So I felt uh, it was uh, like some sort of reassurance uh, from uh, the spiritual world that I was heading uh, in the right direction. And uh, I believe I'm still heading to the right direction, even if, uh, you know, thing is so hectic uh, and uh, complicated right now. Um, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting journey. It's an interesting journey and I uh, won't deny that I am as much as trying, you know, like uh, to stay in the present. I won't deny there are moments that I feel anxious and worried, but that's natural if you're a human. It's natural. Being a human body, we are all about emotions. So we have control of those emotions. You know, we might not have control of their you know, external circumstances or what's going on in our life, but we are in control of what we feel. So if you feel worried and scared because there's certain uncertainty of all things that's going on, but you can control what you feel. You can reject them away. You can put the wall and like, if you don't feed fears, if you don't feed uh, your anxiety, you literally die. Like literally, it, it doesn't have uh, that energy, that feed them, keep them alive. So eventually they will uh, become weaker and then fight, fade away. And then in like, uh, you know, you will restart to be positive and uh, hopeful for the future. But, because the emotion is all like a, like a wheel, so the wheel can come back. They might come back on, on the surface, uh, but you know now how you can fight back. It's just don't feed that. Don't let your mind go to the all the possible scenario or the bad scenario that could happen. So if you avoid that, you're not feeling that as an energy. And try to actually feed it within the opposite, with good thoughts. Trying to feel good. Even obviously when you are in stress or worry, it's hard to think good 
dance, try to feel good, but it's the only way you can, uh, I would say, starve that bad motion so that then uh, you be go on way and replace with uh, better emotions. So, no, I just think there is something else to add or, uh, or anything else. Um, I will say now, um, I mean, there are obviously other um, things happen while uh, I was in Bangkok and then Edinburgh, but another time. Um, so the video will be attached to an article that actually I wrote at the time uh, with the, even the meaning of 11-11 and uh, some uh, interesting meaning I found about uh, bus and transport. Alright, so I hope that helped a bit and uh, talk to you soon.